Alright guys, King David Gay, King Gay, David Gay, move to the Nanta Quattro's back with another episode of Fishing IRL Squid Game. Sorry if it's dark, but it's super super dark. It's like you can't see me mostly. But yeah, you will feel the dark of the night with this video. I'm gonna try, I'm trying a new spot. I don't have the, the proper light equipment uh, right now. Maybe one day I will have it, but for now it's gonna be like this. And I'm trying a new spot. So yeah, I don't know if it's gonna be good, but uh, I'm trying. So yeah, let's see what we're gonna catch or what we're not gonna catch. Let's go. Come on, let me sit down here. It's super slippery. That's yeah. You need to pay extra attention. But it's slippery like crazy. I'm using this Yamashita at the end. Then, come on. This one, I don't know if you can see it, because this one is the, the, the one that I want to sacrifice. Even if it gives me a uh, squid less time, I don't know, I feel like this is the one to try when it's a new spot and I can, you know, snag easy. There's a lot of rocks here. Let's go. Let's go. I, I didn't even have the time to see where I can. It's like I can't even see myself where I can. So yeah, that's pretty bad. There's a lot of high rocks here. It's really a tough spot. Really easy to snag, I guess. But even if it's easy to snag, maybe we can have some surprise. I don't know. Let me try to move the rod in a way that I think this place is good for cuttlefish, not squids. So, not squids this time. I'm hoping for a cuttlefish or octopus. But I think this place, shallow water, super clear. I think it's good for uh, squids. Uh, sorry, not squids. Octopuses and uh, cuttlefish. We'll see what is going to happen. I don't even have the starlight, so that's another problem. Without the starlight, I can see where the hell I am with the squid jig. So it's like, since I can see where I am, where the hell am I? Look now on how I am retrieving because I don't know. Since I can see where I am, it's so much easier to snag. But uh, I did not find the starlight on the store. So uh, I'm without starlight, that's bad. With the starlight, at least you can see light in the water, you can see where the squid jig is, you can pay attention to the rocks. At least to the rocks under you. Now I can't, so I hope everything goes uh, good. There's another person that was talking to me before, before I started recording. I don't know if he's gonna come back to see uh, what I'm doing. In that case, if you see me talking with someone in another language that's not English, don't worry, I'm talking uh, about fishing, I think, as always. And uh, yeah, it's another fisherman. We're doing a different type of fishing, different, not in my location, far away from where I'm fishing. But time to time, you come to, uh, to watch me because it's like yeah, uh, he has rods and he casts, the, the bite goes on the ground and he needs to wait for the fish to come. So it's like, since there's uh, almost nothing, he says, like you have time to come to speak with me because it's, it's like it's bored because no no fishing is biting me. So yeah. Oh, I was I was feeling something. The rock for sure. This place is like if I don't snag, I'm right. If I catch something, even the more like it's super slippery. It's really hard to stay here. I guess. Oh, oh, oh. I'm scared. Every time I hurt a rock, I'm scared. Oh, yeah. That's how it goes. What did I take? Yeah, the grass. I knew that already. Oh yeah, at least I'm not snagging. Not for now. 
Let's cast again. Let's see. Now I'm gonna make it sink a little more, even if I'm not comfortable with it. But By the way, I need to understand how camera works because there's a mode called night mode. And it's like you can see clearly during the night. It's crazy good. But the problem with the night mode is that it works only with the photo and not with video, apparently. I don't know why. But if I can record a video in night mode, whoa, that, that was like 10 times better, I hope. But it feels like it's not working, I don't know. Anyway, there's still grass here. Yeah, this fucking grass. Because now it hurts me the rocks. Too many rocks here. I mean, it's not a good spot. I guess. But maybe there's something, you know. Who knows? A giant octopus goes up to, goes on top of the squid jig. Yeah. I don't think so, guys. As always, remember, we are fishing. When you're fishing from the shore, this is reality. Most of the time, you don't catch nothing. Until you find the key to catch something, there's maybe a period where you catch something, then you don't catch nothing again, it's like this. Uh, this is the reality of fishing. No? But this is the beauty of fishing too. But, uh, if I catch something here, in this place that is a little bit bad today, it's like uh, the most valuable catch, you know, it's like, Yes, I did it. Even here, that it's not the right spot, or maybe it's not the best, you know? Yeah, that's the, the good thing of fishing sometimes. Fishing is good when you can catch. By the way, this fucking hair. I have my hair all over. My long hair sometimes are really, yeah, difficult to... Yeah. I don't remember the term. My bad in the English is always, by the way. Yeah, I was saying, sometimes uh, you mix, even on your catch can be super valuable if, the, if it is made in the right spot. Right? Yeah. Uh -oh. The rocks here are like great. So, let's put it up for me. But yeah, the bridge are not, where, is, where the hell am I? Every time. I still like. This is hard, this is a tough spot. And there's nothing, that's the point. So, I can't so far away. Let's see. Let me sink to the bottom. I don't know, this, uh, this type of fishing. Uh, first time I approached it was last year. And uh, I fished like so little because of the, you know, COVID situation, so... Uh, the, uh, this year is when I'm trying for real, this type of fishing. And, I have, I'm, and I'm having the first, uh, you know... I'll just say that in my bad internet English. Uh, I don't know what to say, but, but, but uh, yeah, the first... Uh, really big catches I'm doing it like this year so yeah finally I'm catching something I have time to go fishing 
here where I live, the COVID situation is like under control, so you can't go out and have things like that. It's like finally I can try this technique for real, which is what I'm doing. And finally, I have the opportunity, even if not perfectly, I have the opportunity to record myself. And I have to say that, yeah, uh, even if it's still not perfect, then I'm gonna try to make better recording next time. You know, I'm trying to do better and better time to time. But I have to say that I have to say that finally I'm experimenting this technique called edging. At least here it's called edging. And I guess even in Japan where this technique originates, it's like so rewarding because it's a technique where you know the squids, the cephalopods that you take, usually they don't tend to, you know, to be so combative, so powerful like fish, like sea bass or bluefish, but it's like when you catch some of those, it's like, yes, I did it, because it's hard. There's so many things that you can change, you know, you need to be so dynamic in fishing, and that's what I like about this fishing, the fact that you need to be so dynamic to have some, uh, you know, to make some catch. Here, I'm uh, for now with the same allure. I don't know if I want to change it. At least this first time, it's not good. Don't take this example. I'm using the same lure because this I have for trying tough spots like this one. Since I don't want to lose, you know, lures that I think they're good or better than this, I need to use this just to check out the place. At least for this first time, I'm gonna use only this, I guess. But if the place is good and I will not snag, next time maybe I will do the same route and I will be the changing and do dynamic fish. That's the good thing about it. You need to be dynamic. And that's what I love, love about this fish. It's complex, you know, it's not like you throw this lure and you catch. Sometimes it happens, so you can be lucky. But the thing is that you need to be really, really, really dynamic. That's the good thing about this fish. With the fact that we need to change so many colors, so many type of lures, dimensions, everything. You see, what the squids like in that period of time, what changes after, and what I need to do. It's like you need to constantly move the squids, change and change, and to find the right way, the right spot to fish something. It's so good. And when you catch something, it's so rewarding. Because where I live, it's not like other places, like ocean or other places where it's so easy to catch squids and you catch so many squids, here it's really tough. We're in a tough spot, where squids eat mostly during the night. Uh, they don't eat too much. It's, uh, they rarely come near the shore. So from the boat it's easily actually, but from the shore it's really hard. And uh, yeah, when they are down here, that's rare. But when that happens, it's even more difficult to catch. Because yeah, maybe they are down here now. But they, what color they want, what type of dimension. It's like you need to be dynamic. That's what I love about this fish. Uh, but I have to say, it's not easy. But it's reward, what I said. Right? So, yeah, if you think you like this type of fishing, if you can like this type of technique, give it a try. Because uh, it can be so rewarding for real. Now I have this rod and it's real, I've shown the I read in some other videos, they cost a lot, they are good, you know, but that's me, it's not important. If you want to start a fishing technique, you can buy, for real, a low quality rod, low quality reel, it's not a problem. Even a low quality standard spinning rod, like 15 grams, 20 grams of casting max, and uh, I don't know, a Shimano Nashi or Sahara, for example. 2,000, 3,000 size, it's perfect, you know, a good uh, small size bridle line and you are, uh, you know, you are fishing. Some squid jigs, that's what I, that's one thing, squid jigs, if you can, take good quality ones, that's what I can, you know, whoa, almost neck, that's what I can uh, say to you. Try to use uh, high quality squid jigs. Because I can assure you that they make the difference. 
There's some people that, yeah, one dollar, two dollar squeegee in work, not as 10 or 15 dollar squeegee, you know? Like, our hand squeegee, like Dua, Yamashita, uh, Yozuri, you know, they are great. They work good, and uh, yeah, they make the difference between economic jigs. So use more money on the line and the squid jigs and, and less on the rod, at least if you were trying to you know for the first time. Then if you like this type of fishing, you can buy whatever you want. This rod, for example, the calamaretti from Graphic Leader that I'm using is amazing. You can feel everything. Why do you think with all these rocks that maybe you can't see because the video is dark, why do you think I didn't even snag once till now? I'm still not snagging, even if it's risky. Because with this rod, I can feel everything, everything that's on the water. I can feel all the things. So that's why I didn't snag. Because two or three times with another rod, I have snagged already. But it still not happened because of this rod. This is a live scene. Yeah, that's for sure. So, yeah, and the bandfish. The vanquish is awesome because it's so lightweight with the Shimano vanquish that I can afford to use the 4,000 size on this type of fishing. They're usually the, the, the size that uh, they tend to tell you, use the 2,005 or 3,000 size, never 4,000 because they are too big and too heavy like reels, but not the Shimano vanquish. This is lightweight as a 3,000 size, even less. So. This is so lightweight that you can use it. And that's so helpful because since uh, he, he has a larger barber, uh, not barber, sorry, a larger, I don't know how it's called in my bed in either English, a larger of this. So it's like you can cast a lot farther because the, the line is gonna come through easily. So that's much better. But this will cost a lot, so. I can understand if you're a beginner or if you don't have the right money, you don't want to spend this money, you have to do to spend on other things. Well, I always tell you what you can buy. But yeah, there's a lot of alternatives. There's a lot of fishing equipment of different, uh, you know, different, and uh, other. Uh, today, I'm uh, so bad with English. Whoa, almost snagged again. Pretty bad. But yeah, this rod is a lifesaver. Because I stopped up a second. Just because I feel that I was snagging myself. But it didn't happen. So yeah, that was good. I risked it. So yeah. Moral of the story, because my bad in English today. Let me stop talking. On that side, and let me say it to you again in an easy way. You can use even spinning equipment and uh, low hand rods and reels, no problem with this technique. No problem. But high hand line and squeeze, that will make a difference on what you fish and what you want. What the rod and the reel changes is how far you can cast, how precise you can cast, and specifically. The joy, the joy that you have when you fish something. Because uh, with this, you can feel everything. Even a small cowfish that maybe don't fight too much, it's like you enjoy that, 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 that thing. Okay? Uh, with a low hand rod, uh, usually you don't. It's like you don't feel it too much. That's the only thing that you change really. With high hand rods and low hand rods, usually. It's that with high hand rods, you enjoy more the fish that you take because you can feel it better. It's not for real. I can sense when I do this, this movement with the reel, you can see it better now. When I rotate the reel just a little bit, and the squid jig is on the ground, it's like I can feel if I'm on sand, if I'm on the gravel, if I'm on the small rocks, the high rocks, I feel everything. So you can imagine, like I feel everything on the ground, on the bottom of the sea, I feel the, the prey when, when it comes to the squid jig. And it's so amazing when you retrieve it and you fight it with this lightweight rod, with this type of equipment. But that's something not necessary. 
Maybe it's something that you can take for yourself when you know you tried this type of fishing, you liked it, and it's like, yeah, I like this type of fishing. You know what? I can spend uh, more money on it, buy a good rod and a good fish to enjoy more of this fishing, and you know, go fishing. This thing. But it's something, like I said already, that you only need if you like this thing. If you don't, you can go with the low end equipment. Economic things don't work. You'll be good and you will fish good enough. Important thing line and squid. I repeated myself too much already. So, yeah, let's continue fishing. Let's see if we can get something. But I have to say, maybe this area was not a good idea. But at least I tried a new place. And one day is different than another, so maybe today was not a good idea. Tomorrow will be, you know, that's the point. You never know. Maybe I don't catch nothing today. But that doesn't mean there's nothing. Maybe t tomorrow I, it's like I catch 200 cuttlefish down here. So always try new places. Always try the same area. If you want to test a new place, always try it. At least for a week, two weeks, you know. Try to fish more and more on new places just to see if after two weeks or one month for example you didn't catch nothing it's like yeah it's not good okay but uh not after one day you can't tell after one day if it's good or not because maybe today i will not catch nothing but that doesn't mean it's not good maybe the day was not the right day who knows the water is super clear and it's so calm so it's good for this type of fish Usually that, that is the condition that you want to achieve. If you want to find, if you want to fish with calm water mostly and the clear water, and today it's like this, so it's good. But, but yeah, I don't know, I feel like this place is not the best. At least I'm trying a new place, I don't know. Maybe trying and trying and trying new places, one day we'll find the, the definitive place where it's where you can fish a lot, you, you fish always. But yeah, that's a dream place. It would never happen. At least I'm trying. So. Here it's like, they don't want to buy. Or maybe there's nothing on there. But with my hair, it's like, come on. They're doing so many noises. I hope at least that you smile at my bad English, because I know my 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 internet English is bad. At least I it made you smile, I guess. That's what I'm hoping. You know, I know that I'm bad. I'm not doing. Uh, you know, like, I know. That's mine. You know. Maybe some someday I will see something fun. Maybe there's some wrong. I don't know. Shit. Yeah, that would be good enough. I'm tempted to change color because that's the right thing to do. You know, dynamic type of fishing, like I said. But today, this is the first day here, and I risked this net so many times already. It's like I will not do it. Hell no. That's something that's not gonna happen. Not today. Maybe next time. If I feel that this part is gonna be, you know, all right.
almost snagged again. See the grass? I'm doing nice casts, but I feel like there's nothing here. I think the place is not bad, at least for octopuses. But where the hell they are? But yeah, I can see they're pretty rare with this technique, so it might need to be lucky for them. But who knows? I hate, by the way, these long hairs are, are all over my face. The fact is that I don't want to cut them because I like them, but they are so, so boring. Yeah. Way the quality of this rod is amazing. And let me say this again I'm not sponsored by this, but that's the truth. It's like I can feel everything and I'm not snagging because I can feel where I, it's good genius. And by the way, it's not only this rod, okay? All of the high end rods, I guess, not all, but most of them are gonna be great. Okay? one that I have, I can talk about it because I have it and I guess it's great. The other ones I don't know. Yeah, I guess any I hand rod would be good, or mostly.
That was almost a snap. A big snap, but thank you, Rod. Again, that's why you need a sensitive rod. Not only for snacks, but even because. Sorry, not only for fishing in a more funny way, but even for snacks. That's what I wanted to say. Another snag, I don't know. I feel like there's nothing here, so I guess it's only a Who knows? Let me see. In fact, grass. A lot of grass. And, uh, you know what? I will wrap this up since it's dark. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wrap this up, guys. I guess that's the, the thing that I wanna do, I guess. Yeah, it's dark, and I feel like there's nothing here, so, yeah, I guess, I guess I'll try. I don't know if I will try other spots or if, we, if, I, if I will go home. I don't fish too much, but when I fish, I'm trying to record myself, so yeah, that's what is gonna happen, so, yeah. Thanks for watching guys, leave a like, comment and subscribe as always, let me go behind the camera without falling because it's slippery here, super hard, and yeah, thanks for watching, bye!